Hello from Sweden and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Before we start, I just want to say that you can still get my Oracle deck, the little guide deck, with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code LIONSGATE, capital letters, on my website nordicl.com. Okay, back to today's reading. The one thing universe is trying to fix for you now. And I have prepared three different paths with oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. As always, like always, we're also using different tarot decks in each of the piles. So we have pile number one with the dog. We have pile two with the, the Mockingbird. And we have pile number three with black coffee. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps. And I will see you guys in your separate readings. Hello, pilot number one, and welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the very cute dog here. <laughs> Let's see what we have here behind the tape. If it wants to come up, yep. Loyalty and belonging. Very, very happy dog. I think it's flat coat retriever to be exact, I think. <laughs> I had a friend that had one of those. So anyways, let's put it here. So the one thing universe is trying to fix for you now or as soon as possible, we are going to start, I think we're just gonna start with three tarot cards and then we're gonna do some small cards. So let's just see what that is. Oops, okay, that's stuck to my finger, that one. And that one, okay. You know what, let's just prepare. So we're gonna take uh, two more cards from my own Oracle deck. If you missed the intro during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code LIONSGATE, capital letters, on my website nordicl.com. So two cards here. So what is universe trying to fix for you as soon as possible. Okay, let's just put that one over there. We have a tea leaf and we have a chakra card. <clears throat> okay, let's dive into it, see. Well, you have three of pentacles. We have king of swords. If you wonder why I have censored the cards, it is because, yeah, YouTube rules. King of swords, wow. <laughs> Break, break, career breakthrough. Yeah, career breakthrough. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else we got here. The high priestess. High priestess is working with something here. <laughs> this is a modern high priestess. <laughs> She's working on something with her on her computer. So, <clears throat> the dog here. Loyalty. We have number forty-two here. So maybe somebody is forty-two years old, but something with forty-two made sense maybe working on something for 42 days but yeah that could have some significance loyalty belonging the high priestess working on something here um i think yeah break like some kind of career breakthrough or some kind of breakthrough when it comes to some kind of creative endeavor something that you've been working on with the high priestess you've been working on it in your private sphere <laughs> yeah, yeah it's like something that you haven't yet published to the world uh, and it will be somehow published to the world to see if that doesn't resonate it seems to be something with your career let's do more cards <clears throat> gossip wow okay people are going to talk about you true love yeah the true love here makes me feel like you're going to get some kind of really 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 you've been very loyal to some kind of uh, manifestation a project keep feeling like the high priestess is working on something because high priestess can be a little bit secretive energy like you're working with something 
you know, we have the number one major arcana is the magician. And the magician is the masculine energy, the, the action. The fool is nothing. You know, the, it starts with the fool. Kind of it starts from... Uh, from nothingness almost. And then the journey starts with the magician. And the magician, you know, he channels. He has one hand lifted to the sky and the other hand lifted, kind of pointing to the earth. So he's channeling down, you know, uh, something, maybe from the fool. And then the high priestess, you know, is a very feminine uh, energy that comes after the magician is number two. <clears throat> and the high priestess is a more passive energy, which is kind of more about... I don't know, working in, working with something, using your intuition and creating something with like nurturing it, but also bringing in the, bringing in like kind of sacred knowledge whilst doing this. <clears throat> then we have King of Swords here, centering re your reading, very masculine energy. You have three of pentacles, the high priestess here. So you've been like, working on something very, very big with the Tree of Pentacles. Something, it seems like something that you're actually very good at, <laughs> even. You're very, you're doing something, you're working on something that you're very good at. It seems like it's becoming very good. And somehow, <clears throat> you know, one thing universe is trying to fix for you. Not, it could be like, if, if you are not, if you haven't finished this, like making you finish it. I feel like it's going to be published or presented to the world. We have gossip here. It's going to give people a reason to talk. Or gossip is also like you, because High Priestess is working here uh, uh, at her home, in her studio, uh, where nobody can see her, with her thing, with her music, with her this or with her book or with her that, you know. Uh, healing if it's necessary. She's very wise, you know, the high priestess. She has a lot of energy as well, a lot of motivation, but she works uh, with a lot of like kind of integrity and uh, um, purpose. Yeah, a lot of integrity and a lot of purpose. And uh, gossip, it could even be like hiding away from the gossip to be able to finish this. <clears throat> so maybe you've been hiding away, protecting your a manifestation protecting your piece of art <laughs> whatever you're creating here from the 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 eyes of the world here with gossip because you want to keep that energy as clear as possible what else do we have here apple temptation will test you wow we have true love we have apple what else do we have here root chakra underactive I am not taking care of my physical resources. I think, yeah, for many of you, it's like the universe, the one thing the universe is trying to fix for you is to finish this project of yours. Almost like taking, like, if this is like the first, <clears throat> some of you have, have already, you're already doing it. For some of you, you haven't even started maybe, or you're like, kind of like you have put something on a shelf. And this is like, they're, they're like, what they want you to do is to be, like kind of like very loyal to your dream and and to do this to use your resources here to step away from temptations here with apple temptation and gossip here you know gossipy energy like this can almost also you know being what wa what like watching like uh I don't know, Netflix, it, it got, it's social media, Netflix, like things that, you know, is like entertaining for kind of the mind, not so much for the soul. <laughs> so <clears throat> that kind of like feels like temptation as well. Like stepping away from the things that are like a little bit entertaining, but it's not really feeding your soul. Then choosing true love here. Yeah, then choosing true love. True love is being loyal. And you're skilled with the trio of pentacles. It's not like you're in the beginning stages. <clears throat> you're actually very skilled. So King of Swords here also makes me think like clearing, you know, with the King of Swords and the High Priestess <laughs> together, that really shows how highly connected you are and how highly you are um, making choices. And I keep hearing like having some kind of like integrity about fulfilling your dream for yourself, making it happen for yourself. I am not taking care of my physical resources, underactive. Yeah, it's like actually root chakra, you know, underactive root chakra, there is like nothing happening. <laughs> so <clears throat> make you finish this, you know, there's once again, nothing lacking. You have the skills, uh, you have the dream, 
you have the vision, it's there, but it's like moving you away from the temptations here, you know? Once again, the things may, might give you some kind of sensual pleasures, you know? Yeah, some like mind entertaining things, you know, going to parties maybe, or, you know, watching this or doing this, or, you know, I don't know what, smoking pots, <laughs> nothing wrong with anything like that. But it's like, <clears throat> Something like give, not procrastinating or not forgetting about you're so good at this. Finish it. <laughs> Finish it. <clears throat> Wood, bird, rest and retreat. Yeah, I think it's like about shifting your focus. We have number 22 here to like kind of like bring more balance into your life. Wow, this is such a beautiful card. <laughs> Wood, bird. Rest. I want to lay like this <laughs> in nature, you know, with a bath, <laughs> wooden bath tub, I don't know what to call it, with some cherry blossoms. And the cherry blossoms also talks about new beginning. There's a swallow here also. Hmm. Flying. You know, swallows have a hard time lifting from the ground. <laughs> you know, if they fall on the ground, you almost have to like throw them up in the air for them to fly away because they have a hard time. Yeah, if they fall on the ground, it's very hard for them. So yeah, you fell on the ground, root chakra. It's time to lift. Oh, it's like finished. I keep like getting like you need. So this is going to give you. This is good. <laughs> whatever your project is, whatever your ideas, it's great. With the King of Swords confirming in this also, with the Dog and loyalty here also, it's just like this is a path that is yours. This is a dream that's meant to become fulfilled. It's not just a you know a fantasy or a longing or like something like that this is something that's meant to come true but it's demanding a little bit of effort from you it's demanding yeah it's demanding that you do other things <clears throat> you know uh, step away from the temptations of life that makes you a little bit lazy <laughs> or unmotivated you know uh, or that makes your mind foggy that makes you disconnect with your own intuition maybe sometimes when we are like mostly surrounded by other people we don't take time to self-reflect we don't take time to meditate we don't take time to just rest and retreat very hard to be connected with our high priestess energy here you know so you need to be connected with this to be able to create and fulfill your beautiful thing here your dream here for some of you this could even be a manifestation it doesn't even have to be like something that you're creating or something that you're try, trying to reach with your career. It could be something that you're trying to manifest. The Three of Pentacles tells me, with, with Three of Pentacles, King of Swords, the High Priestess, I mean, great cards. <laughs> the path is completely open. It's just about some kind of choice here. Step away once again from temptation. I know like I'm annoying you maybe by repeating it. <laughs> maybe you need to hear it <laughs> many times. <clears throat> we have Butterfly with Emerging. Take the leap of faith. So we had Swallow here, you know. So I don't, so it's called a swallow even in English. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry if that's wrong. Yeah, I'm just going to go with it. You can laugh at me if you want to. I'm fine. <laughs> My ego will not be hurt. So yeah, so flying, take a leap of faith. And then we have air element here emerging. So yeah, you, you, it's like lifting from the ground. This, this lift from the ground, even raise your vibration. This is talking about raise your, raise your vibration. Take care of yourself. Maybe you need to take a sweet bath with... Uh, flowers or something in it in in like s smells <laughs> like sweet sweet smells um something with like fe like uh, embrace your feminine energy because this this comes from a place you know king of swords is also a very balanced masculine energy you know he uh, an unbalanced masculine masculine energy is controllative controlling is controlling is pushing is pulling is is uh, restless, but this is a king of swords that is a balanced king of swords, and a balanced king of swords is patient, and, and is, is sees the whole picture, and takes very uh, ra like very clear decisions, and very clear choices, and and sees everything very clearly, and is able to, um, what is it called like to to. to take care of his own thoughts and feelings that are not aligned with where he's trying to get. <laughs> so yeah, you have all the, you have all these things here. And, 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 you know, it's about balancing that feminine, feminine and masculine energy, meaning like it's, this is not about pushing. This is not about pulling. This is not about controlling. 
This is not about reaching that goal. This is about being in that creative, very nice flow, you know, like the butterfly here. Yeah, just just very creative face or uh, creative energy where you are very, yeah, very balanced emotionally, mentally, spiritually, feminine energy, masculine energy. Yeah, just very, very balanced. It could be like something needs to be like purged here. That is, that is like... I keep hearing like fog, obstacle on your path. King of Swords, very good at taking away obstacles. Uh, obstacles on the path. I'm getting Ganesha energy. <laughs> so Ganesha isn't Ganesha, the obstacle remover in Hinduism and also, you know, bringer of abundance. So like something like this uh, obstacle remover, bringer of abundance. And it's, it's, it seems to be, it's like, this is very close. I, I, I say like, it's, it's like the, what is demanded from you is just like a small energy shift where you go from being in the fog like kind of like in sleeping almost sleeping with eating unhealthy sleeping with watching uh, things on tv that's actually not raising your vibration maybe even listening to music that's not raising your vibration maybe being around people that doesn't raise your vibration or maybe your whole life or maybe you're just you know you you're surrounded with a lot of people normal life kind of you know you go to work you if you have kids you do this you do this a lot of domestic you know life things and you don't have time for yourself very hard to tap into it so for some of you, you could only be just like take time for yourself connect raise your vibration you have all the skills here you can do all these things and then you know emerge here like the butterfly make this thing come true for you because jupiter <laughs> wants you to expand jupiter wants to bring you luck it wants to bring you good things yeah we talked about smoking. maybe somebody smoking a lot of pot yeah we have a lot of marijuana leaf here yeah, <laughs> he looks chill. You have to figure out yourself it's, if it's healthy or unhealthy for you. I don't think, you know, yeah, you know, it doesn't matter what I think. Yeah, it's up to you what you do or you don't do. But you have to know yourself if it's uh, healthy, good for you. Like everything is good for us in a, not everything is good for us, but, you know, things are good for us maybe in a certain extent when we do things like even the most healthy food can be, you know, there's people only eating fruits, you know, and that's healthy, of course. It, not only eating fruits, but if you only, only eat fruits, of course, it becomes unhealthy. So it's like everything, there's a balance, you know. So you, I think like you, because you have so clear cards here, I feel like you're very connected with yourself. So I feel like when I tell you like, there's certain things in your life, maybe in your lifestyle, uh, that is, or in your like everyday life or in your domestic life or something like that is somehow bringing your energy down. And I think you know exactly. I think you can bring a pen and paper and I think you can write five things. And I think if you would change those five things, uh, I think you would be much more connected with yourself. And this, you will be able to fulfill, finish your project or manifest the thing that you want for yourself. With a lot, you know, expansion. Yeah, we have <clears throat> air element. We have Jupiter, Sagittarius energy, fire energy. You know, it's all about passion and expansion and abundance for you <laughs> number 42 again that's funny because i really felt drawn to 42 also because i am 42 years old you know that's what i was thinking uh yeah 42 so 42 two times <laughs> so maybe some of you are also 42 woman holding a coin yeah <clears throat> this is manifesting in a different way <clears throat> because once again feminine energy here it, this is like this is all about raising your vibration because feminine energy is nurturing energy. You're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of your body. You're taking care of your needs, but you're also connected with your higher self. You're connected with your intuition. You are creating your, your own muse or you're finding your muse in nature maybe or something like that. And you are like making it happen. <laughs> you're making it happen with all this nurturing energy. Yeah. Nurture your dream. Re generation with oyster <clears throat> it's about it's really about getting rid of things that are lowering your vibration it could be even be hmm yeah let's just leave that river and movement yeah to make energy flow to make your energy flow 
to make your energy flow regeneration breaking something oh, yeah, i felt some, <clears throat> some obstacle breaking some obstacle down king of swords you have archangel michael energy here as well so yeah we said ganesha we said we said we're saying archangel michael or this is energies that are definitely with you break something down break the barriers Break it and it will come to you. Like this fl flow of abundance. I, I have to say pile number one. It feels like you're in a good place. <laughs> yeah. I have to say it feels like you're in a good place. There needs to be some like certain, maybe even minor adjustments just to make the energies like kind of move. Yeah, look at this. Page of Pentacles in the bottom. We're going to keep that. So yeah, <clears throat> manifestations, Page of Pentacles, a new project, uh, a new opportunity. Uh, new money coming in, <laughs> new money coming in or something like this. So Trio Pentacles, Pedro Pentacles, new energy into this manifestation and it's going to flow here. We're going to do three more cards just because I want to. So let's see what else we got here. One, two, three. You can make it, you can make it happen for yourself. I see Rocky, you know, the eye of the tiger. Is that the song? I can't sing it. <laughs> you know when he trains? I think it's Rocky One, isn't it? When he trains and then he runs up the stairs and he's like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> I can't, why, why can't I remember the song? You know, you can probably hear it in your ears now. And he's like, yeah, he's strong, he's healthy, he's in his best shape ever. And he's like, he's gonna, he, he's like, almost knows he's gonna win the fight. So like, <clears throat> I, I'm getting this energy with you too, like strong, healthy, like just like do certain things. Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, keep yourself high vibrational, keep your mind clear here, follow your dream, be very loyal, be very devoted. You know, you're getting a lot of help here, Ganesha energy, remover obstacle, uh, my, uh, Archangel Michael, protector, protector, <laughs> also want to protect her, protect your energy, help you follow your truth and all these things. So I feel like it's very good. <laughs> yeah, for once. Yeah, look at that. Celebrations. Celebrate mar marriage even. We had true love here. Yeah, so maybe some of you wants to manifest marriage. I mean, yeah, you being all s s good smelling with flowers, you know, true love is going to come to you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the wrong place to put it. So, yeah, <clears throat> marriage, union, buying a new home, celebration. Yeah, very happy here. Stability with the four ones also. Stability, security, the hanged, the hanged one. Hmm. So the hanged man you know, can talk about sacrifices, but you can talk also about being stuck. There needs to be sacrifices made. These sacrifices are these adjustments in your life. And it's, it's about activating your full potential because you have a lot of potential, but sometimes this energy goes out into the wrong kind of places. There's no wrong and right, you know, you can do whatever you want, but, you know, <laughs> There's such something so beautiful for you here that you can like fulfill. It's like a dream. It's like uh, something that is uh, according to your life purpose and life path. So of course, you know, universe wants you to fulfill this because it's in your energy to fulfill it. Uh, so it's like sacrificing something to get something better. Sacrificing something to get something better. The hangman also is very enlightened here. New perspective. It goes very good together with the king of swords here. Definitely like there is something lingering in your mind <laughs> certain type of thoughts that i feel like somehow needs to be cut or pushed out in some way or like kind of transformed in some way ten of swords yeah i know she's even <laughs> dying here but yeah look at this oh this is interesting instead of taking care of the pain getting lost in sensual pleasure because it feels very good you know i know that i am a, what is it called an emotional eater <laughs> i think it's called that you know you know every time i feel like a little bit red it's very sub subtle emotions for me but but i've noticed you know i eat you know i lay in the couch i watch some kind of favorite uh, series that I'm watching on Netflix or something and then I eat very good food and I like cookies and things like that but this is like very yes it's good it's kind of like suits us we think but actually it doesn't because we're not kind of dealing with what the problem is why do we have to escape <clears throat> why do we have to escape so we are like making ourselves making our mind busy with something else not to be able, not in time, escape. Maybe we don't even know how to deal with this, but escaping this, but taking care of yourself and meditating 
and you know doing certain choices for yourself maybe even exercising doing walking in nature and all these things you know we have root chakra here you know taking care of yourself i am not taking care of my physical resources you have a lot of <laughs> you have a lot of resources you have a lot of potential you're a good person pile number one you're intelligent you're wise you're spiritual you have so much you know but maybe because of some kind of past pain that still hasn't been dealt with it's kind of pulling you down into like all of us you know emotional eating maybe pot smoking maybe you know shopping you know whatever you know sensual pleasure or whatever thing kind of we're falling into gossip really makes me feel like that you know so this uh and true love you know is about the choice of choosing this nurturing energy, the true love of the universe, what makes us feel good, what makes us healthy and strong. And this is what they want to move you in. Regeneration. You're rebuilding yourself and your energy, you know. Number nine stands for, uh, you know, something is about to end. So I feel like something is about to end. I really feel like they're trying to move you away from a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a depressive energy or a little bit of a low energy or if it's like a little bit of a lower vibration in some area of your life. It feels like they're trying to move you away from that because there's a lot of spiritual growth with Jupiter, spiritual growth and expansion, you know, on your path. The number six here also makes me think somehow finding your true home, your soulmates, your tribe. So all these good things are on your path here. Okay, <laughs> pile in number one. This was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number one. I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number two. And welcome to your reading. You felt drawn to the Mockingbird. What a beautiful card. Let's see what we have here behind the tape. And we have prophecies and communication prophecies and communication i also know mockingbird stands for innocence so prophecies communication okay so the one thing universe is trying to fix for you now or as soon as possible we are going to start with three tarot cards <clears throat> so what is universe trying to fix for you now I do want to take four cards, so I am going to. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, we're also going to take two cards from my own Oracle deck. And if you missed the intro during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code uh, Lionsgate capital letters on my website, nordicl.com. Okay, two cards for you here. Oh. <laughs> They really wanted to come together. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it, but like they really stuck together. So that's interesting. <clears throat> Maybe they're really two together here. Yeah, I don't know. Why do I, why do I feel like a love story came out here with these two? Yeah, I have no idea what it is. Almost want to look at it immediately, but we're gonna start with the tarot cards and then we have a tea leaf and we have a chakra card here. So let's just see here what we got. What's wrong? Ah. <laughs> Wait, I like to put them in order. Okay, let's just do it like this and we're just gonna take them from the bottom. Three of Cups. <clears throat> Funny card. Three of Cups, okay. Knight of Wands. Talking of people that belong together, like these cards belong together. We have Three of Cups, you know, can talk about friends and coming together they're having a party here actually knight of wands is invited what is this what a weird reading knight of wands like yeah i'm kind of there's a party going on here <laughs> okay the mockingbird is looking at it there seems to be some kind of celebration of some kind okay <laughs> what a funny reading the sun yeah i keep feeling like a little bit silly in this reading and like a lot of fun and laughter and also these cards i mean look at this <laughs> this is hilarious <laughs> yeah the sun we have the, a lot of lizards here lizards and we have page of pentacles yeah looking bringing you this gift yeah everybody's nicely dressed everybody's coming to your party <laughs> and they're bringing you uh big gifts here uh hmm what's going on so the one thing universe is trying to fix for you now there's a prophecy here 
this big celebration coming. They're all celebrating you. Are they celebrating you? But everybody's invited. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What else we got? We got a rebirth. Wow, nice. And we have good vibes. Yeah, these two belong together. The rebirth comes first and then comes the good vibes. Look at the panda here. It's just sitting there chewing his bamboo. <laughs> yeah, bamboo. Hmm. Yeah, koalas, they eat eucalyptus, right? And, and, and pandas eat bamboo. Yeah, this is bamboo. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, I actually created the card. I should know. So anyways, <clears throat> rebirth, good vibes. The, the, the prophecy here. Wow, this is really good energy. It's co everybody's coming in. Knight of Wands is coming towards you. Everybody wants to come to celebrate something here. What else do we have here? Angel. Spiritual guidance and protection from harm. That's interesting. And the chakra card is balanced. Crown chakra. I sense higher consciousness. <laughs> I mean, look at these cards. The rebirth. The higher consciousness and the angelic energy. Almost like you are reclaiming your own angelic energy. Your own innocence. We said the mockingbird can also stand for innocence. So yeah, if reclaiming your, your own uh, innocence. Your own purity. Uh, your own light. Yeah, look at this. Holding the candle. Your own light. You went through the rebirth here. You, you raised your, raise your consciousness. Maybe release something from the crown chakra. Okay. <laughs> so the one thing universe is trying to fix for you now is to... Really, and I keep, I saw all these, you know, crystals here. You see, it's it's like this uh, violet purple, you know. <laughs> you see this? It's it's a lot about your upper chakras, third eye and crown chakra. It seems to be like some kind of obstacles uh, that's going to be like kind of removed. Some of you could have like some kind of spiritual purge with the rebirth, or <clears throat> there could be like a spiritual purge. There could be like a moment of satori like a moment of enlightenment like a big insight like like something is opening up and it's pretty funny because of the there's prophecies here but the rest of the there's prophecies here and your reading kind of starts with something like a spiritual experience almost or like a spiritual purge or a cleansing <clears throat> but then it becomes like really not talking so much about the spiritual like experience in itself it kind of talks about what's going to happen to you and what's going to happen to you is like yeah good wipes <laughs> you're sitting on your butt here just eating bamboo and being happy panda <laughs> so yeah so you're raising your vibration here and uh, protection from harm somehow like you you are removed from that uh, disturbing energy there was some kind of disturbing energy in your mind in your third eye like kind of in the way it's 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 gone here. Knight of Wands coming towards you here. I kind of find I I find that very interesting. And the Mockingbird also looks at the Three of Cups. So like yeah, I keep feeling like some kind of celebration. Hmm. The sun is shining. Page of Pentacles here is coming with some kind of extra gift, extra gift of money, extra blessings. Yeah, there's definitely blessings coming, bringing you blessings. <laughs> yeah, bringing you blessings. Let me just fix. I think it's everything is a little bit crooked. Oh, oh yeah, it moved. Oh yeah, like that. Okay. <clears throat> so let's see what else we got for you. The fires. Wow, this is nice. Wow, fire snake living from the heart. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think universe is trying. What the universe is trying to fix for you? I think it, I really think it's like it, it's it's. I feel I feel like it, even this card. You see purple here. It has something to do with your higher. It has something to do with your consciousness, or <laughs> rather, maybe unconsciousness. There's something there that's like almost blocking you has been blocking you from taking in the full sun and grandeur grandeur of life almost and now with this gone i'm so sorry i have to check you know yeah and my cat has a gps on her and it's making like a lot of fuss and sound yeah she's safe yeah <laughs> yeah fear <clears throat> fear yeah something like uh like a fear blockage in your mind or in your third eye. Uh, yeah, in your crown chakra or third eye. It somehow makes you disconnected with 
Life, life force, you ignite the ones, fire snake, like a lot of passion coming into your life, making you alive again. So I think like this is about like some kind of really, really deep healing and release. But that's just a small part of it, you know? That's just a small, because after it comes all this beauty here, it comes all this fun time, fun things here, three of cups, you know, maybe, you know, spending time with your tribe, attracting your tribe with the Knight of Wands. Look how quickly they're coming to you now, like a magnet. Yeah, maybe some of you is in a twin flame story. Woo, they're coming to you. Nothing can stop them. They're running to you with the Knight of Wands here. <laughs> yeah, they're running to you. You've changed completely your energy. And this is like one door away almost, it feels. There's a big prophecy here. There's a... This, I almost feel like this will happen. Like, yeah, this will happen. You will go through this. You will, and this, once again, just here in court, for some of you, maybe this is not even a big thing that you're doing because I kind of like the rebirth, you know, there are no cards here or showing anything disturbing or difficult or healing or purging, really. It's just this very peaceful <laughs> rebirth card in the end here. You know, <laughs> the frog looks very peaceful. So it even seems like maybe you already did all the work and now like you're really like shifting your energy. Things are going to turn out very good for you, pile number two. Things are going to turn out very good for you. <clears throat> Polar bear. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Nurture. Yeah, I think they're like really working with your energy. And I think you, the one thing universe is trying to fix for you now is to clear out some residues of quartz and lessons and energies that you have already kind of released but it's kind of like I, i'm looking straight at the devil card i have a cheat sheet cheat sheet here i just looked at the devil card yeah attachments <clears throat> release some kind of attachments that is making you stay in the old version of yourself there's been layers of you you've been peeling off layers of you layers after layer and this is like peeling off layers. But I think the one thing universe is trying to fix for you is to bring you more sunshine, more happiness, more passion, more money, more gifts, more blessings, more parties and celebrations, more fun into your life. Yeah, I think, yeah. But also making you step into your living from the heart energy, from your reclaiming your high vibrational, very pure, innocent energy with like good vibes good vibes within you and good good vibes that are spreading all over your life <laughs> okay we're getting some deep transformational cards here so yeah that makes sense so we have pluto revelation transformation death and rebirth and liberation liberate you 10 yeah see look at this we have a 10 here finishing that cycle F finishing off that healing cycle that purge that you've been in Something like is made, there's like, I keep getting, going back to the crown chakra. Crown chakra is a very important chakra and it can be very difficult. You know, the other chakras can be a little bit more easy for us to recognize blockages because the blockages are more like, um, I think so actually. Yeah, maybe it's the same, but yeah, because the, the crown chakra has more to do with like kind of the disconnection uh, from other people, from our purpose and things like that. And somehow it feels like more normal, <laughs> like to be disconnected. Yeah, I, I somehow it feels like a more normal thing, but, but it's actually, uh, it's not. <laughs> so it's like, I think like trying to get you to be highly connected with the truth of your soul, the truth of the universe, the truth of your heart and something with bringing you back the sense of trust and faith in life and in your purpose. Something like taking away some kind of depressive thoughts, hopeless thoughts, and things like that. Uh, and surround you with the good things of life. Making you see that life can be pretty nice. <laughs> life can be fun. Life can be a blast even. You know, life can bring you so many beautiful things almost showing you the miracle of being a human here on earth and how much, how, how the good, you, you almost like you saw the, the dark of it with the Pluto, you know, 
Pluto connected to the eighth house, <laughs> a very dark house, very difficult house, you know. But yeah, house of transformation, Scorpio energy, you know, very, very deep and intense. Like you did that, you did that part. You did that part. You've done that part. Yeah, you're done with that. Wow, I'm getting very, you're done with that part. And why do I want to cry? Yeah, you're done with that part. You did it. <laughs> Maybe, you know, for 50 years or something. You did, you've, you face so many intense emotions and intense people and intense situations and things like that. So much. You're done with that part. So this is about getting you to release and transform whatever is left to release the attachments, you're done with the karmic cords. It's like realizing like I'm done with this karmic cord. I'm done with this karmic person. I don't need to go in loops anymore, playing games with this person or replaying this wound or this, uh, yeah, replaying my maybe childhood wounds or whatever wounds with similar people over and over again. Like you're, you're, yeah, this is about you're done with it. To make you realize you're done with it. There's a, yeah, I love the mockingbird and the prophecy here because it really shows like this is in your path. This is not a dream. This is not a made up something. This is in your path. Your path is to, was to face very dark things. <laughs> yeah, it was very dark things. Poor, poor you, poor me. Like, you know, I also recognize myself in this. Yeah, poor us. You know, it wasn't easy. But it, it wasn't meant to stay forever. There was a before and an after. And you've been on this journey for some time. And this is talking about the after. <laughs> this is talking about, oh, is it finally over? Yeah, it is finally over. It is finally over. And yes, there's going to be nice people in your life. There's going to be people that wants to be in your life, that wants to love you, that can love you in the right way. There's going to be you feeling very comfortable, confident about who you are. You're like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> Here I am in my bathing suit. I'm feeling good. <laughs> fine even you know and you manifesting you know beautiful things for yourself and being successful finally it's, it's your time to be successful it is your time to enjoy the finer things of life it's your time now it's your time to nurture it to be nurtured by the universe it's your time for that growth your you, you the thing is you know for you you know, you also grew a lot, <laughs> you know, you went from the darkness to the light where you're going, you know, and you've grown so much, you know, so you're like, uh, even more powerful than the people who never went into this intense things. Of course, you know, if I could choose, I would also not choose it, of course, <laughs> but I know it's, it was good there. It has a, like a spiritual purpose. You know, we go through so many difficult things and pain, we make our pain into spiritual growth. If I hadn't gone through everything that I've gone through, all the traumas and things, I wouldn't become this person that I am today, you know? And we wouldn't be able to reach these higher con levels of consciousness, or it would be more difficult. I'm not saying like anything is not possible, things like that, but it had its purpose. Who cares? It's over. I don't know, you didn't see, but this card just, <laughs> this card just like kind of uh, slide. It just came like this and just landed on my hand. So let's just see what it is. Just because the emperor, Wow. Yeah, it's your time to be safe and secure. It's your time to experience how it is to stand on a very strong foundation that nobody can like shake and move. It's your time to enjoy, you know, your, your uh, being the emperor over your kingdom. <laughs> yeah, what's it called? Kingdom. No, I don't know what it's called. So yeah, anyways, so we have the emperor here. Yeah, nothing can shake you. You put very healthy roots now, very strong and healthy roots, and you're living from the heart. I think you're very, you're transformed to a very, all this pain that you went through and all these things really, you know, cracked open your heart, cracked open your skull. It is cracking open. Your skull seems to be something left, maybe in your heart, maybe in the upper chakra somehow, you know? So it's like leveling up also into higher vibration. The thing, <laughs> the thinking woman, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, it definitely has to do with your cracking open the skull, cracking open the skull, and you know, you have a tendency to overthink things, maybe, and you know, the energy going instead of, you know, it's better to, so I was, I had a choice, you know, that I had to make now. And I was like, oh, should I do this or should I do that? And I've been going back and forth, like, should I do this or should I do that? And the thing is, you know, it's such an easy choice because if I feel what feels right for me, it's like, oh, this, it was so easy when I did that. I was feeling like what feels right. And the, the say option A and option B. So if I use my heart, uh, option A 
felt like, okay, yeah, option A feels good. And option B was like, no, why didn't I, why didn't I even think about option B when option A feels good? But when I did the same, then I did the same, but I used my mind. I got completely confused. I was like, yeah, but maybe option B, da, 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 da. and I, you know, you find all this, uh, um, opinions or you know you, you start to like really ruminate and things like yeah but maybe maybe not maybe it's better so <laughs> what i'm trying to get here to is uh the mind makes things very complicated <laughs> yeah but the heart <laughs> has always a very clear answer actually so for you and for you i think you have a very big heart naturally you have a very big heart but because you were put in many uh you know pluto intense situations and maybe pain in your life it's been hard for you to feel what the heart it's been hard for you to tap into the heart because maybe there was many blockages there so you are a heart-based creature from the beginning so it's like kind of getting you back into that and you are a very loving person so it's also getting you back into trusting life trusting other people uh, back to your innocent kindness and compassion and for many of us you know we lost that because we were put in such a harsh circumstances of life and people kept on hurting us even since we were like five years old, four years old, you know, and being hurt and hurt and hurt again by people over and over and over and over again. Of course, you know, we're going to be dist distrustful towards other people and we're going to have all these uh, suspicious thoughts and closed heart and this and this and that, you know. But I don't think you were kind of in that stage anymore. I think, you know, you, you've taken a lot of steps away from that. And, but now it, the, what they're trying to fix for you now is really this get you into the heart, uh, get you into your angelic energy, get in, get you into this higher vibe energy so that you can start to manifest uh, a reality which is surrounded with more sun and warmth and happiness and joy. And I mean, the bad things, yes, they were there, but that phase is over. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's all, yeah, I keep hearing like, there's not even a discussion they just say it's over you know and sometimes we stay in outdated energies because we don't know how to get out of it or like our mind is making tricks it is is tricking us to think like we're holding on to things that that's like you know it's like the elephant uh, being tied to a rope and even when the rope is not there the elephant stays because it thinks it's still tied so something like this but you need to know pile number two, according to your blueprint or kind of according to your life plan, you already did all the things that you needed to do. You met all the a-holes, <laughs> yeah. you went through all the pain, you, you faced all the difficulties, you've already did it all. There's not going to be something new coming and surprise you. There's not going to be a new karmic person entering your life. There's not going to be something new big surprising you. You've did all the big things, the big, bad, heavy things. The big bad wolf <laughs> you already met. And now it's kind of like re reprogramming you to, to not like almost like walk in loops and relive something that's already outdated. Split, uh, split guilt. Adapt to your new energy. Adapt to your new life. They're really trying to move you to this new timeline. This new timeline where that old pain doesn't exist anymore. Where that, where, where that old version of you doesn't exist anymore. Iceberg. Submerge. Hmm. The tip of the iceberg. With the emperor. You're, you need to know that you're very safe. You're very grounded and you're very safe. There was some bad things that happened to you in the past that felt like they were out of your control. And somehow they were in some way because they were so... They, they were, I don't even want to make... It, they were meant to happen. And maybe that sounds awful because I went through some awful things, you know? So it sounds strange when somebody says they were meant to happen. It doesn't mean, mean it's okay. But sometimes, you know, it can help we can, if we can detach ourselves. It's easier to do this when we have gone through the growth. <laughs> it's much easier to detach. Not easy when we're in it, you know. But uh, keep feeling like you're safe now. And now they're really trying to make you completely transit into your new to timeline. Where things are going to slowly 
but very steadily unfold for you with a lot of healing, with a lot of purging, with a lot of you becoming your authentic self and with a lot of changes in your life. A lot of changes in your life, pile number two. Friends, you're releasing friends. You are releasing home, maybe. You're releasing maybe certain family members. You are releasing an old job, maybe. You're releasing addictions, behaviors, but also you are getting great job, maybe, new way of making money. You're getting new friends. You are uh, going deeper in, you know, also taking friendships to the next level that are meant to stay in your life. There's like a lot of things happening. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of things happening. So the one thing you was trying to fix for you now it seems to be a lot. Yeah, it seems to be a lot. But I think one thing that's very important is the heart and the th third eye crown chakra, making you feel connected again with Gaia, with humanity, with people around you and with life. Finding, like getting you to feel like there is a purpose. Queen of Pentacles, make you feel safe in the world. Safe and nurtured by Gaia. Four of Pentacles, wow, yeah. <laughs> Let's see the last card. Two of Wands, yeah, wow. Two of Wands is all about expansion. Making you expand out of any fear, of any blockages, any stuck energy. And just make you feel like, okay, I am okay. Life is okay. Everything is going okay. I am like almost like feel excited about life again celebrate you and feel excited about life again we talked in the beginning it sounds like every, there's a party here going on so yeah it's really brilliant i think it's going to be like very celeb celebratory yeah i can't say that word there is really big shifts going on within your energy and within your life and i think for some of you it's like massive shifts major transformations major changes positive changes Big positive changes. And you're going to embrace this with a lot of love. You deserve this. You know, you went through hell. You really, I think many of you, you went through hell. <laughs> and now you're going to experience a little bit calmer energy. A little bit more. I think a lot. I always say a little bit. I even think a lot. You know, the emperor and four of pentacles and even the iceberg here. You know, very stable energy. And the only like really like passionate energy is Knight of Wands here running towards you, running towards your party. So there's like the things that are going fast, it's like your manifestations coming to you. But like the other things are very like stable. Yeah, very, very stable for you. Enjoying good vibes. Mm, just enjoying being in this good place. Yeah, feeling good about yourself, feeling good about your life. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> I think we are going to stop there. So pile number two, this was your reading. It was a very good reading. <laughs> pile two, this was your reading. And if you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three and welcome to your reading. And you fell drawn to the black coffee. A black cat just came here. Yeah. So you fell drawn to this card. Let's see what we have here behind the tape and we have shadow work and awakening okay let's see let's put it here in the corner nessie is cuddling with my face you're so cute hello <laughs> okay so we are going to start with three tarot cards let's just yeah let's just take out three tarot cards for you so the one thing universe is trying to fix for you now. One, two, and three. And we're also gonna take three cards from my own Oracle deck. And if you missed the intro, during the month of August, you can get it with free worldwide shipping plus 10% discount if you use the coupon code Lionsgate, capital letters, on my website, nordicl.com. Oh, yeah. I see these two. I see three. Oh, we're going to do three. Yeah, okay. <laughs> let's just take these three cards. And we have a tea leaf and we have a chakra card. So let's see what we have here. We have the star, nice, <laughs> nice beginning. Hmm, 
the star. We have a page of wands. Son of wands. No, knight, knight of wands is son of wands. Yeah, I think the daughters are the pages and the sons are the knights. So knight of wands. And the devil. The devil's feet are on fire. A goat. Hmm. Conquering this, yeah. The one thing Universe is trying to fix for you now, the devil is a lot about attachment, toxic attachments. It can be people, it can be situations, it can be thoughts, it can be emotions, it can even be, you know, we can be attached to our own pain. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Pedro wants this, the snake is looking straight at the devil here. But then we have the star here. The star is a lot about hope and healing and renewal, rebirth, shadow work and awakening with the coffee here. Let's see what we have. Success? Wow. Okay, we have success. We have fun time. <laughs> so yeah, look at this. Rising up, moving away with the fun time here. And self-expression, your authentic self. Yeah, I think, you know, this is about getting rid of some something attached to you. Something attached to you. Let's see the tea leaf, the ant. Once again, success. Work, achievement, and success. And we have the chakra card here is the third eye chakra. I see, but reality is not clear. Underactive third eye. Underactive third eye chakra, awakening. Hmm. I think we need to do more cards. Metal monkey, let go of control. Monkey mind. Hmm. Pedro, yeah, it's like looking, keep, like very, this is like, this is something you've been very stuck in, pile number three. Yeah, this is, I don't even know why I'm laughing. I'm laughing because it's almost like it's becoming ridiculous, like how how stuck you've been in this. Like it's like, it, 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 not making fun of you in any way because this resonates with me myself, myself, you know, I know for myself what this is. For me, it's a, it's a, it's a thought pattern, actually. For me, it's a thought pattern that's creating a fear that is not even necessary. The fear... This thought that keeps on coming in my mind, that's creating this fear, a reaction in me, it doesn't even have anything. It's, it's not even happening, you know? <laughs> so it's almost like a joke. It's like, it's almost because like, whoa, crazy mind, you know, can you stop like repeating this, you know, and then I have this reaction. So for, for, for some, some, some of you, like, there's something that you're very attached to it doesn't even mean that you, like it doesn't even have to mean that you are attached to it as a, it, but it means like it's it's sticky it has its hook in your mind and, and it, it's it's tricky <laughs> it's tricky it's not easy it is in your third eye and crown chakra look at this so it's, it's third eye you know really stuck in your mind and it's making reality unclear it is making reality unclear. It is making everything that you're trying to achieve a thousand times more heavy for you to carry because you're trying to move forward and you're trying to move forward, but you're also carrying this attachment. And this is a heavy attachment. This makes your mind heavy. This makes your body heavy. This makes your emotions heavy. With the star here, really showing like the one thing you're trying to fix for you now is to get rid of this. The star also, you know, represents... See this higher chakra almost, you know, it, it's, it's the star, it's the above, you know, third eye crown chakra is also the chakras that are kind of above, you know, so really showing like how it's like clearing this out for you so that you can see almost. And it has something to do with also with like kind of control. So this fearful thought that I have that keeps repeating itself also causes certain behaviors in me where I try to control my environment because I'm scared something bad is going to happen. But the thing is, it's just a thought, it's just an emotion, nothing bad is happening. But it's like such a stuck thought in me because I come from a lot of trauma. And because I come from a lot of trauma, this, this thought pattern has created. But what I also notice is when we have very heavy things like this where we're attached to, there's also other things in the spiritual realm, 
like almost like astral parasites that are feeding off our fear that is attached to our energy because we are giving up so much good negative energy they're kind of like feeding off it and they trigger us so that they can have food they're like oh i need some food let's trigger pile number three you know they're they're like bringing you some fearful thoughts and then you're like whoa and they're like mm, nom 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 you know food 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 for me <laughs> you know they become bigger and our thought patterns become more heavy and our emotions becomes more intense so it's like this could also be, you know, this. We're now we're just talking about the energetic level. So this could also, for you, maybe you're not even aware of this, uh, how it works on an energetic level. Maybe for you, it's actually an actual attachment to an addiction with the devil, to a person, a karmic person, to a situation. Something is like, and I'm, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like almost angry and I feel like I want to cry because I, I, I've been meditating now and it's like, whoa, I want to conquer this, you know, but, you know, we also have to let go of control. <laughs> we also have kind of to surrender and we have to like really be aware of what's going on to be able to slow but steadily but very powerfully with the star here, shine the light on the problem here, shine the light, shine the light and it's kind of, it will dissolve. So, but for you, they're really helping you with this. Look at this, this is shadow work here. So yeah, this is really talking about something that is a little bit hidden because shadow work, you know, is the shadow self. It is a little bit hidden. And a, but shadow work leads to awakening. But we can also, we can only do shadow work if we are at a certain degree awakened because we cannot look at our shadows with this uh, detached view because we have to look at our shadow with a detached view and say like, oh, okay, because if we're not detached, we are the shadow. You know, we can't see anything. We're completely identified. We're drowning in the shadow. We don't even know that we're drowning. We're just playing out, you know, the fears the emotions, the thoughts, the patterns, and the problem. <clears throat> and not, not minimizing your problem. I know fear, you know, because I'm, I'm, I have one thing for myself that I'm trying to get rid of, or I'm trying to transform. I think thinking, I think trying to get rid of something is also not the right way, because as soon as we're trying to get rid of something, we are trying, we are rejecting it. And it's the, the, we are, what is it called? We're resisting it and resistance is a very <clears throat> it's like an energy like this and to be able to like transform something the energy has to be like this it has to be open it has to be surrendered it's very hard because when we're experiencing something very difficult we want to get rid of it it's so natural to say i don't want it i don't want it get rid of it you know <clears throat> So this was the energetic level on like a more like tangible level or something like that. There seems to be like, once again, like this is cre this, this devil, who is this devil uh, with the, the knight of wands and the devil together. This is difficult, you know, this is like very difficult. This creates a lot of intense emotions, a lot of maybe impulsive, impulsive, impulsiveness. If this is a person, this could be a very person that is prone to anger that is prone to frustration, irritation. Maybe you're picking up a lot of, in, it's okay if you feel angry, pile number three, you can feel whatever you want to. We should never say like some emotions are better than others. If you're angry, frustrated, whatever you're feeling, you know, we always have to be okay with that. Be okay with what you're feeling. Every feeling is legit valid, you know? Yeah, no feelings and thoughts are better than other feelings. You know, sometimes we talk about high vibration, low vibrations, but you know, but everything has to exist in the same space of love, surrender, and acceptance. So there is something here. They're trying to get this out of you, out of your life, out of your energy, mostly out of it. This is more on an energetic level. It's affecting your energy in a way that is not good for you. Yeah, it's it's not, not good for you because it's, it's keeping you stagnant and it's making things heavy. <clears throat> it's making you th see things unclearly. So we have success here. So we had to start high up in the sky. We have the success here with the air balloons going high up into the sky. Look at all the stars here as well. So it's like really lifting you up. Fun time here is also pointing. More stars here, yeah, fun time is also pointing. It's like you're showing how you're moving away. Self-expression. You See how you are on top here now. So this is like fr free, free you, liberate you from this liberate you from it. I want to cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Ooh, <laughs> yeah, you know, go. Wow. Nice. <laughs> this is perfect. Golden unicorn ascension, awaken to your soul's potential. See here, third eye, under active third eye. And then we have this one, 
pointing the way. Once again, fun time. See, pointing the way. Everything is like really showing how you're moving on here. And I mean, golden unicorn, not just in the unicorn, it's golden as well. <laughs> so ascension, awaken to your soul's potential. Yeah, I mean, you're meant to expand now. You are meant to expand. You worked hard here with the ant. You worked very hard. You, you sacrificed yourself for other people even. It's like you've been carrying. Some of you, sometimes you're a little bit of a trash bin for other people's fears i don't know some it feels like somebody somebody's using you as a trash bin i'm sorry but maybe you need to hear it they're dumping their feelings and thoughts they're they're dumping their feelings on you yeah they're dumping their feelings on you and for some of you this is the case for some of you you're just pissed off <laughs> yeah i feel like some of you you're just pissed off because people are just like uh, plain stupid at times and it just pisses you off and something with like acknowledging being pissed off is like you it's okay for you to feel the way you feel even if it's not spiritually okay in some way you know it, it, that that the thing they think is, is the thing the thought that says it's not spiritually okay is not true because it's it's okay to feel whatever you're feeling but there's something very important with you acknowledging your anger, your frustration, your irritation, your sadness, uh, whatever you were feeling without like labeling it, without trying to understand it, just like, okay, this is how I feel. This is how I feel. This is how I think. Okay. And this is kind of like how things are going to, this is going to help you a lot if you do that. Um, and you, universe is really working with this on you. There's a lot of healing energy coming to you. There's a lot of focus on shadow work, actually. There's a lot of focus on making you see things clearly. And uh, there's a lot of focus on, like, you not carrying the burden of other people's emotions. You not doing this. You not doing that. There's, like, a lot of focus on moving you. Uh, and for some of you, it's like almost you, you are in a workplace or you have some kind of role in your family or in your group. Or maybe, you know, even the neighbor uses you as a trash bin. <laughs> I don't, like something like it's really like it's not fair the way you're being treated. S somehow it feels. And liberating you, freeing you from the burden. And this has something to do with past lifetimes where you were, you, you took on the burden on, you, it's almost like you needed to sacrifice yourself to help others. So it's, it's like, a, there's two, t two people here in pile number three. One of you are prone to becoming like a trash bin because you are always you're very nice and you're very sensitive and you're very empathic you're very open you're a little bit anxious uh your energy could be a little bit anxious because you have some kind of like uh unhealed wounds in you that makes you a little bit more on the anxious worrying side <laughs> and this makes you like uh not so confident maybe so like bulldozers and like bullies can really like or people that are just like a little bit more uh, not so nice, you know, <laughs> or harsh. They can really like dump things on you, and you're like, whoa, okay, you know, you don't maybe don't even know that's happening. You're always blaming yourself. So that's one one type of person here in pile number three. The other type of person is the opposite. You, but you're you are like more angry. <laughs> you're more you're more on the angry side. You react to your environment and to like people that are like toxic in some way. You react to it with more like frustration, irritation anger maybe even like self-righteousness and i don't think like i think it comes actually from a very pure place <laughs> where it's like somehow like you're defending your yourself in some way so it's like it's it's not bad it's not good it just is like, it's, it's acknowledge this i really feel like it's not bad actually i feel like almost like your anger is legit your energies your feelings are legit yeah something also with balancing the solar plexus chakra here Hmm, calming down the fire in some way. Grounding your energy. We have earth, grounding, reconnecting, reconnection, home and guardianship. Yeah, you are pile number three. You are not from earth, <laughs> that is for sure. Yeah, you're not from earth. And uh, we have with the golden unicorn here. Yeah, you are, you know, uh, one of the souls, there are many souls, you know, almost all of us, you know, that is awakening, that is reconnecting with who you are, that is finding kind of your spiritual integrity, your spiritual purpose, your spiritual calling and all these things. Yeah, this, this is what you're doing. And 
I think it's nice. I think it's like you're, you're finding your place in the world. You're finding out who you truly are. You're finding your true your truth. And I think there's many truths that's going to be challenged. Like things that you, you, you lived your life in a certain way. You had like a certain role in your family, at work and things like that. I think this is becoming very challenged because this is not who you truly... It's like you're becoming the, the new you. So this, this old you, it doesn't really fit. So it's like you're outgrowing like a lot of things in your surroundings. And it could be uncomfortable for the people around you. I think to see you change so much that they can almost think that there's something wrong, but actually it's not. <laughs> it's just that you are turning more into who you're meant to become. So yeah, I think they will adjust to that. So I don't think you need to worry so much about that. Yeah, it was a side message. <laughs> yeah, third eye chakra, yeah. And crown chakra, seven chakra, archangel Uriel. Mm. Archangel Uriel brings us like a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. So yeah, we have the third eye and the crown chakra, same as in pile two. So if you want to check another reading, pile two was actually a very good reading. Yeah, I really like that. So yeah, if you want to check another reading, I would recommend pile two. And you can watch pile one if you want to as well. Can't remember it really now. Yeah, <laughs> so we do whatever you want. Let's see what else we got here. Healing. <clears throat> Scarlet Elf Cup with Healing. I think these mushrooms here, they have like an open cap, maybe it's called. And I think like they collect water in this. So look at this collecting water, healing, something with water and earth. Yeah, look at this. We have water, we have earth, healing. This is the part where I feel you're moving somewhere. <laughs> I get that a lot. You know, you're you're moving to a piece of land. She's holding a piece of land here in her, her in her arms, in her arms, in her hands here. There's a special place for you on Earth, where you will find kind of you know. Your your the last healing. There will be. Get you to the place where you will finally. Finish your healing because we're talking about if we're talking about like Kundalini, you know, Kundalini rising, you know, it's rising up to the to the third eye, uh, to the crown chakra, and you know, it, it does this union, Shiva and Shakti. So, it, and you're up here in the upper chakra, so it's something like you are at the many of you, you've gone through this uh, healing journey, something with you being at the end of the healing journey. Maybe that's also why there's like some kind of diff very, you know, look, even the devil have this thing on the third eye yeah look at this third eye right in your face here yeah <laughs> yeah um and it, this is really about like opening up the okay let's 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 go back a little bit moving you to a place where you will finish your ascension where you will finish your healing your ascension, yeah, you will finish your healing, feeling your ascension. If you don't feel like this is a physical move, this is definitely like an energetic move. Maybe you already moved for some of you, maybe you already are in that place. But I see where, where, where you are is peaceful. You're very grounded. You're almost like a part of earth. There's water close to you. Water is very important for you. Water and nature is very important for you. Something with being close to water. Hmm... Some of you, maybe you come from a water planet, Sirius, I think Sirius B, Mintaka. Hmm. What's this last card? Wow. Summer solstice with radiance. Hmm. So summer solstice, we just had summer solstice on the 20th of June, 21st of June. I think <laughs> I got married on the summer solstice. I should have remembered <laughs> if it was the 20th or 21st of June. Yeah, radiance. <clears throat> radiance. Summer solstice, you know, is said to be the happiest happiest day of the year. That's why we got married on the summer solstice. We thought it was a good day <laughs> to marry. The most, the, the most positive day of the year because summer solstice, you know, it's the first day of summer. And it's, it talks about new beginnings. It talks about blessings. It talks about abundance. 
radiance. You'll be energetically moved. It's really nice here. This contrasting energies from this early stuck here, fearful almost energy, almost a little bit aggressive energy. This uh, letting go of control, surrendering. Yeah, and then completely, you're completely away from this. So whatever you're releasing here, whatever this attachment theory here is, it's some, it's go, it's something big. It's like almost like the last stretch of reaching the top of the mountain. You're facing like some kind of big karma, and almost some of you are almost also being attacked. Yeah, thinking about the ant here, you know, <laughs> ants can be. Uh, I don't know what they're called. I don't, I don't know the English word, forest ants or something. I have a lot of them here. And, you know, they are like a little bit aggressive. They bite your toe and things and they bite you if they, like, they, if you have them on your skin or something or they walk on you, they bite you. So like something like also like your work is being attacked. Work, achievement, success. You're also being like a little bit attacked. Pile number three, you need to know you will be able to do whatever you, you, I think many, I think I have a lot of strong people here in pile number three. I think strong light workers, strong souls with a higher purpose, with the star, higher purpose, somehow to preserve, to help earth, somehow to do some kind of healing, healing center, animal retreat place or something like that. Uh, so naturally also... Something with the last thing. Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> I resonate with this because that's why it feels good. Something is like the last devil here that you need to overcome. And and I don't think, I think this is like, uh, I don't even want to say this is hard because I think at this stage, it's not hard for you because you've, you, you've done like a lot of things before, but I, at the same time, I feel like this is hard. <laughs> I feel like this is really like, because the thing is like, it, there is like a force of energy that's like almost working against you as well. And I don't want to scare you in any way, but I don't think you are being scared because energy, this is just energies. But I think like there's some forces kind of working against you. You need to know that these forces are kind of like lower vibrational forces and they have no chance against your conscious awareness. No chance. This is, these energies are just playing mind games with you and making you stuck because they want to keep you stuck because you not being stuck means that you will with self-expression you will embody your full authentic self when you are embodying your full authentic self you're also being moved here your vibration is raising you're reaching a lot of success maybe with your work you know you worked hard with the ant here also it says work achievement success i can't lift it up so i'm just gonna leave it see <laughs> forces working against you can't even lift up your success <laughs> yeah but i think maybe you will be seen you know with the golden unicorn and ascension you know maybe you will spread wisdom maybe you will spread something into the world and there's like just some kind of like i said lower vibrational energies forces that has no chance against uh, the the light and power within you so don't worry about that. Look at the summer solstice radiance. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this warm, powerful also light here. Yeah, very powerful, warm light here. We talked about the, also that the solar plexus chakra and sacral chakra is important. Yeah, the lower chakras are very important as well for you. You find your power through that lower chakras to be very grounded and very strong, very, you know, vulnerable. You know, vul vulnerability is beautiful because it shows you're deeply in touch with yourself. You know, but vulnerability doesn't mean weakness. We can be vulnerable and we can be very powerful because we know our sensitivities. We know our fears. We know ourselves. Know thyself, you know? Yeah. So if somebody comes and they're trying to play on our vulnerabilities. It's like, yeah, ha, on you. <laughs> I know that already. I know this is an insecurity. And I faced it so many times in meditation. You know, and it was so difficult. So, you know, I faced it so many times. So who are you to come here and try to kind of poke on it and make me triggered in some way? You know, you know how I mean? It means we become very powerful. And then when somebody is like acting out of a lower consciousness like this we can stand very strong in our vulnerability with a very strong light and this will shake them to the core and probably you know they will awaken in some sense and then we are helping them heal it's very good if we can help people like this awaken that are very dense in their feelings and thoughts very very good you know this is how we change the world so we have <clears throat> 10 of cups <laughs> wow yeah 10 of cups i mean happy ending for you pile number uh, 10 I wanted to say yeah pile number three look at this all cups are being filled with all these colors yeah 10 10 of cups yeah weird 10 of cups but it's 10 of cups yeah happy ending happy family happy home 
happy living, happy domestic life, happy place on earth. Yeah, happy life. <laughs> happy ending, happy life. Yeah, nice. We have the rat here with the four of cups. Yeah. Uh, somebody was stealing something from you. <laughs> yeah, you know, the rat. Uh, yeah. Somebody was taking something from you, stealing from something from you, keeping something from you. And you also, the rat is also you. You, you needed to survive. You're very strong. Once again, I keep feeling like you're, you're a survival survivor i don't have anything against rats actually they can be pretty cute i think yeah maybe not not if in your i <laughs> i just remember being like in other countries thailand india you know they can become very big and they don't look so nice yo anyways <laughs> different type of rats so <clears throat> um you're a survivor pile number three and you can do and you can conquer anything, even with the goat here, you know, not, no, nothing, you, it, it won't stand a chance against you. Whatever this problem is, it won't stand a chance against you. As soon as you see the light, as soon as you look at it with this very conscious awareness and detachment, you are winning. As soon as you take a step back, you are winning. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying with the star here, once again, they're trying to make you see things very clearly with detachment, with letting go of control, with surrender, with acceptance. You know, it's a very spiritual thing that they're working with you here. Death, yeah, wow. Yeah, big transformation, big death, closing this door, finishing this big last mountain that you have to do here. And the emperor, yeah. So you can stand tall here, <laughs> like the, is the pine tree? I don't know, <laughs> no, maybe not. So yeah, so that you can stand strong here. Look at this, we have the sun here as well. Uh, sun and the moon, I think. Hmm. I wanted to say something else, so let me see her. I had some last message, I think. Yeah, I keep feeling like you're being moved. And once again, this could be energetic move. For many of you, I think this is a physical move. You have some kind of big mission somewhere. You're being moved towards this mission. Towards your purpose. So there's one part of you is healing and purging and awakening and ascending and all these things. Another part is you be, you know, being healed, <laughs> being healed and being in a very good place in your life. But from that good place also, you are a healer, you know, you know, yeah, you are a healer. You're a very, very powerful healer and you have skills and gifts and abilities. You are meant to use them to do good in the world, pile number three. So they're trying to move you towards that. Okay, part three. So I think we're going to stop there. This was your reading. If you want to share your story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, part number three, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.